It's time for another autoradiography. This time I'm going to try and x-ray a dead mouse. I'm gonna uh, chop its feet off and put it on a Polaroid and then put different sources on top of it. Um, I'm going to use barium-133 as the x-ray source, uh, strontium-90 as a beta source and uh, cesium-137 as a combined beta and gamma source. So we'll see if it works and um, if it does, uh, which source works best. Also, this time I'm going to use a thorium welding rod, which you can see here. It contains 2% thorium oxide and is only mildly radioactive, but we'll see if we can produce like a tiny line or something. Then I'm going to use a vintage uh, radium watch, which you can see here. It has radium paintings just where the number dials are and also on the watch hands then I'm going to use a source of lead 2 and a 10 which is basically an alpha and beta emitter but we'll see just a tiny needle source which you can see here I'm going to use my newly acquired thorium or thorianite, just a very tiny chunk, which you can see here. Also, I'm going to use a little baby mouse or baby rat, I'm not quite sure, it's, it's rather large, so I suppose it's a baby rat and uh, put a piece of uranium ore on it. Also I am going to place a few lumps of coal that have been with the radium watch hands for about two weeks now I think so they should be quite radioactive as well and I'm going to place a little piece of lead scraping I'm going to put over a little screen and put some uranium ore over it well now let's wait and see what happens this is the final setup Okay, so roughly 24 hours have passed and the autoradiography should be done. I already removed the baby mouse or baby red, whatever that was, because I think a 12 hour exposure should be enough and if I had exposed that for 24 hours it would probably turn out all white, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the first image developing. Okay, so this is the final autoradiograph, the first three slices of it, and you can see that it didn't really work, not as an x-ray anywhere, 
you can see the shape of the tiny mouse here but yeah you cannot see its bones or anything so my guess is that for a proper x-ray you would have to first of all use x-rays um, like with the proper energy level as well uh, proper x-ray films and then expose the films within less than a second so um, this kind of method does not work which is a shame but it still looks kinda cool like a piece of art like a little planet that has like three suns above or something and for your reference this was the strontium 90 source this was the barium 133 source this was the cesium 137 source this was the needle source I suppose or no actually that was the uh, Thorionite, the thorium ore, and the tiny dot above was the needle source of lead 210. This was from the um, radium watch. I guess the glass shielded way too many particles. Then you can see the little lumps of coal scattered around here. That was where the screen was and the bit of lead. And this is where the tiny baby mouse or baby red was with the pitch blender on it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put that up on my wall as another piece of art, radioactive art.